little bit. So I'm going to tuck that under. You just got to be careful when it rains because it makes the roof slick. Better not to work on the roof when it's slick like this, but it ain't going to hurt nothing. As long as you are careful. Turn down the pressure on my gun. remember this is just a water shutting mechanism for whatever gets past the uh, shingles so uh, it's all it's all good start putting shingles back up here and you know a lot of people get bent out of shape about whether it's going to match or not you know what when a roof is old and on flash legs you're really more concerned about can I keep it waterproof now you do not have to have a nail gun but it sure makes life easy just like you can surf the web with a keyboard but a mouse makes it a lot easier so, I want to show you how to set these. I happen to like this, and I've got it upside down because I want the cut edge against the, the flashing. And I think that's where it belongs. And I'm very intentionally sloping it back towards the roof. Save that, you never know where that'll come in handy. That's probably a bit excessive, but water is going to flow away from the wall, which is what I want. And then I'm not going to nail it here because it'll cause it to buckle, but what I am going to do is put some adhesive. the stray nails that are down here. Saw one under here too. Eh, missed it. All 
aren't, so that's good. Now I'm gonna come back down to this side. And I don't really like that, so I'm gonna cut this back. Now, I peeled this back a little further than I needed to because there was some tree damage on the shingles. It was right next to where I was working, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and fix that while I'm in here. And then, again, it doesn't matter because I'm gonna, I'm gonna start this over here. higher nailing pattern which is for high wind areas because nails are cheap. Here's a great one. I don't want to stay off that tar strip. So you can see here that it's not going to quite fit. So I'm going to take my little piece and patch it back in here. Clean that up. Mm, it's not perfect, but you know what? It'll be okay. And that's going to be just right. shingle placement. I will deal with Cut this here. And then we're going to take this and throw it up there. And then I'm going to trim this in a little bit. So, what we want to do at this point, is I'm doing four because I want this to stay still.
Ooh, it's hot out today. These aren't stair stepping the way I think they should. I'm following the existing shingles. Hmm. All right, well, still gonna be waterproof. or a nail too close, so no big deal. Let's let that leak under there. I gotta get some more shingle. progress. So and again I don't want that there so I'm gonna put the gap here. Need more nails.
start every way on this, and it's just taking forever. So, thanks. No problem. Scorcher up here today, but we're going to get this out. Uh
I'll be back in a few. I only got like one more shingle to do. Eh, I'll just sit here for a minute. I'll be back on camera in a minute though. All right, so a nice breeze has kicked up and gosh, I really appreciate that because this roof is probably 150 degrees. It's hot, hot up here. And then flip it right side back up so it doesn't stick to the roof when it's hot like this. And then we got a seal back or nail back down the course above it that we got to lift up. me to go get another caulking gun. Uh, I'm basically done up here. Let me show you what this guy's, what this looks like. So, you know, it's a slightly different color, but overall, that's not a bad patch. And we're talking, you know, 40 bucks worth of materials. And, you know, maybe another 20 bucks for the plywood. Half a sheet of plywood. Plywood's 34 bucks. So, you know, all said and done, we're talking $75 out the door at Home Depot, including the sealant and the caulk gun. Uh, you know, whatever that'll, and, and the goal here is to get another three to five years out of this roof. So that will do this. And yeah, this isn't right down here. That could be better. It could be spaced differently, but this will still shed water and it, it's fine. 